English grammar in use. A short study reference and practice book for intermediate learners of English for correction by Raymond Murphy. English grammar in use A self study reference and practice book for intermediate learners of English for creation by Raymond Murphy This is the fourth edition of English Grammar in Use. I wrote the original edition when I was a teacher at the Swan School of English Oxford. I would like to repeat my thanks to my colleagues and students at the school for their help, encouragement and interest at that time. Regarding the production of this fourth edition, I am grateful to Norman Burke and Wells. I will attend to Cambridge University Press. To the student, this book is for students who want to help make English grammar. It is written for you to use without teacher. The book will be useful for you if you are not sure of the answers to questions like this. What is the difference between I did and I have done? When do we use will for the future? What is the structure after I wish? When uh, do we say used to do and when do we say used to doing? How the book is organized? There are 145 units in this book. Each unit concentration on a particular part of grammar. Some problems, for example, the present perfect are the use of key, are covered in more than one unit. For a list of units, he contains at the beginning of the book. Each unit consists of two facing pages. On the left, there are explanation and examples. On the right, there are exercises. In the back of the book, there is a key for you to check your answers to the exercises. There are also seven appendices at the back of the book. These include irregular words, some uh, summaries of word forms, spelling and American English. Finally, there is a detailed index at the back of the book. How to use the book? 
the units are not in order of difficulty, so it is not exactly that. You work through book from beginning to end. Every learner has different problems and you should use this book to help with you the grammar that you find difficult. It is suggested you work in this way. Use the content and your index to find which unit deals with the points you are interested in. If you are not sure which unit you need to study, use the study guide on page 3 to 8. Study the explanations and examples on the left hand of page of the unit you have chosen. Do the exercises on the right hand page. Check your answers with the key. If your answers are not correct, look at the left hand page again to see what went wrong. You can of course use Look Simply as a reference book without doing the exercises. Additional exercises. The back of this book are additional exercises, pages 302 uh, to 305. These exercises bring together some of the grammar points from a number of different units. For example, exercise 15 brings together grammar points for units 252. You can use these exercises for extra practice after you have to get back to practice the grammar in the unit. To the teacher. English grammar is used as written as a self study grammar book, but teachers may also find it useful and additional uh, course material in cases where further work on grammar is necessary. The book will probably be most useful at uh, middle and upper intermediate levels where all or nearly all of the material will be relevant and can serve uh, both as a basis for uh, revision and uh, as a means for practicing new structures. It will also be useful for some more advanced students who have problems with grammar and need a book for reference and practice. The book is not intended to be used by elementary learners. The units are organized in grammatical categories, present and past, articles and nouns, prepositions, etc. They are not ordered according to level of difficulty, so the book should not be worked through from beginning to end. It should be used selectively and flexibly in accordance with the grammar syllabus being used and the difficulties students are having. The book can be used for immediate uh, consolidation or for later being or remedial work. It might be used uh, by the whole class or by individual students needing extra help. The left hand page explanations and examples are written for the students to use individually, but they may, of course, be used by the teacher as a source of ideas and information on which to base a lesson. The student then has uh, the left hand page as a record of what has been taught and can refer to it in the future. The exercises can be done individually in class or as homework or creatively and uh, additionally. Individual students can be directed to study certain students of the book by themselves if they have particular difficulties not shared by other students in their class. Don't forget the additional exercises at the back of the book. See to the students. This fourth edition of English Grammar News has been revised and updated. There are no new units, but some of the exercises have been rewritten or replaced. An edition of English Grammar News with all the keys available. Some teachers may prefer this for news with other students. And, uh, prefer this for use with guest students.